Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today I'm sharing my absolute all-time favorite summer recipe. Now this recipe has actually lived on my blog since 2016. It was actually one of my very first recipe blog posts that I've ever created. So today I thought it'd be fun to share this recipe again, to make a video, update the post because it is absolutely something I love, my son loves, everybody in my life loves. It's super easy, it's fast, and it's affordable. So today I'm gonna to be showing, sharing with you my favorite raspberry casserole or raspberry salad recipe. All right, so the first step, let me share with you the ingredients. So we have fresh raspberries, one stick of butter, an eight ounce pack of raspberry jello, an eight ounce pack of cream cheese, another eight ounce pack of Cool Whip, some stick pretzels, and some sugar. So that is all you need to create this amazing recipe. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to preheat your oven. So we're gonna preheat it to 350. Whoops. So we're gonna get that started. The next thing you wanna do is you actually want to melt down your stick of butter. So I like to put this just on a really like medium low setting on my oven it's a, or my stove, it's about a two or a three. And you want to melt your stick of butter. So I'm just gonna throw this here in my pan. And you wanna get that all the way melted down. Now while that's melting, you want to get out a, about a nine by 13 glass baking dish. To make this today, I am gonna be using a clear baking dish because I want you to be able to see the layers as we build up this raspberry salad. So you're just gonna set that aside. Now while your butter is melting, the one step you can complete is you want to get out a Ziploc bag, looks like this. So you wanna use, I use just a, a measuring cup that looks like this. You want to do about three to three and a half cups of pretzels without breaking them up. So I fill this up. This is actually going to act as the base to your raspberry salad. This is almost like the crust. We're gonna be using pretzels for the crust. So you can see it's about four cups that I'm using right now. It could actually probably be a little bit less, but that's okay. You wanna stick them inside your Ziploc bag. And what I like to do is I like to just hold it against me and get all that air out. Close it very tightly. And I like to just even it out like this on my counter. So you can see it's all evened out. The next thing that you want to do, you want to grab a rolling pin that looks like this. Okay, I have a Pioneer rolling pin and you just literally roll it. And you can hear it crushing. get these somewhat to a pretty fine. Now I have had it before where the pretzel actually punctured the bag and pretzel got everywhere. Sometimes that happens, but most of the time we're pretty lucky. So when you're done, 
your pretzel should be a fairly chopped up consistency. See, there's not a lot of big pieces in here. They're all pretty small, and that's the consistency you want. So you want to set that aside, and now we just have to wait for our butter to melt. All right, so now that the butter is all melted, you can see I have it all melted. You wanna make sure there's no more pieces left of the butter. You want it all to be liquid. Next, you wanna take sugar, just a granulated sugar. So you wanna take this one fourth cup of granulated sugar like this, and you should actually do this over by the stove, but dump it in. And what you want to do is you want to dissolve Oh, the oven's done. You want to dissolve this in your melted butter, butter as much as possible. So give it some time to melt down. Cause you want this to be, so essentially this is the mixture that's going to hold together your pretzel base. So you wanna just make sure you get that melted down as much as possible. Couple of minutes. and you wanna stir constantly because you don't want anything to burn. Okay, once you have that melted down pretty good, you wanna take what you've done with your pretzels. So you wanna open your bag back up. Now, I have found this makes quite the mess over on the stove. I'm gonna to try to do this as gracefully as possible, but you take it over and you dump all of your pretzel bits I'm gonna leave some in there. Take all your pretzel bits and you want to just coat these pretzels really well. You want to make sure that all the pretzels are coated with that butter sugar liquid because that's gonna be the glue that holds all the pretzels together. So I like to make sure it's really coated. And you can even take it off the heat if you want to take it off the heat and just spend time making sure it's really coated. All right, so now that that's coated pretty well, you wanna come over to your baking dish and you wanna put in a layer of pretzel. Now what I do with my pretzel base is, I'm just gonna set this, set this over here. Okay, so you wanna get all the glass covered with the pretzel base. And I just use the bottom of my spatula to move things around the bottom of the dish. And you want to pack it in. So pack it in pretty tight. Okay, so once that's all packed in, like looks like this, you wanna set it aside to cool to room temperature. All right, so while your pretzel base is cooling, the next thing that you want to do I'm gonna be using today my KitchenAid stand-up mixer, but you can definitely do this with a hand mixer of some sort. So I'm just gonna put in my paddle attachment. Get my bowl nice and securely in place. This is where you're gonna take the cream cheese and you wanna use the entire eight ounce pack so a full pack is eight ounces in the cream cheese. Okay, get this open here. You wanna dump this whole pack in here. All right, with that in there, the next thing you want to do 
I'm just gonna put it on the low setting. You can see it's gonna whip up the cream cheese. And while that's whipping up, I'm going to add three fourths cup sugar while it's running. I'm gonna do one at a time. Very slowly pour it in. And I'm going to, in between each time I dump a sugar in, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Put it down on low again while I add in the sugar. Let that get somewhat combined. Speed it up a little bit. Bring it back down to a low setting and add one more. So that's a total of three fourths cup sugar in with your cream cheese. Now the consistency you want with this is you want it really fluffy. So you want to get it nice and fluffy with the cream, the cream cheese and the sugar before adding your eight ounces of Cool Whip. So I'm just going to put this on a little bit higher speed. And see how it's fluffing up really nice. All right, so once that is somewhat nice and fluffy, fluffy and fully combined, I'm just gonna lift up my KitchenAid. Now we're gonna add the Cool Whip. So the whole container, the whole eight ounce container of Cool Whip is gonna be going into our stand mixer. Now what I like to do is I like to grab a spatula let me make sure I have one nearby here. So I'm just gonna grab a spatula and make sure I get all this. And I'm going to add this entire container into my bowl. Get that in there. Let me get all the, I'm gonna make sure you get all that you can out. And that's why I like to use a rubber spatula. Okay, so once that, and I might just scrape some of this off of the, my dog is right behind, below me, so that's why you're hearing him scratch. <laughs> all right, so, all right. With that all in there, and you might want to too, scrape down your sides, and I just scrape down all this. You wanna make sure it gets all nice and combined. Okay, bring your paddle attachment back down and you wanna always start on the lowest setting again. You can see we're getting a nice cream cheese layer. And you might wanna speed it up one more time. Okay, and what I might also do, just to ensure that it's really well combined, I always suggest scraping down your sides to your bowl because you just wanna make sure that everything got combined the way it should have. Do it on slow one more time. And like I said, you can use a hand mixer for this portion of the recipe as well. You don't need to have a, a stand-up mixer like this. Okay, so now that we have our Cool Whip base, I'm just, I like to make sure everything's off of my paddle attachment as much as possible. Okay. All right, so now we have this really, and the consistency is pretty thick. It's smooth. I'm 
and it's really fluffy and creamy. So this is the type of consistency you want to see. Tastes so good. I love cream cheese, cream cheese frosting, cream cheese filling. I could, I could eat this whole bowl. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. So we have our pretzel base. It's still a little warm, but it will work. The most important part about this step is making sure that your Cool Whip layer goes all the way to the edge of your baking dish because what we're gonna pour on top of this layer is liquid jello. And you don't want that liquid jello seeping below this layer and soggy, making your pretzel soggy. So what I do is I do one big dump on the left, one big dump on the right, one big dump in the middle, And I'll show you how I even this out. Now you can get really technical and get out a leveling spatula or a baking spatula, something like you would use for decorating a cake layer. But today I'm just gonna be using the good old handy rubber spatula. So what I do is the first step is just making sure I cover a portion of it like this. So as you can see, I'm getting right up to the edge. And you want to make sure that your cream cheese is touching that glass. That's the most important part because you don't want any of that jello whatsoever seeping down below. So you don't want to see any type of cracks or anything open on the sides. What I do, I do a really quick All right, so that's all the way to the sides. You can see that there's absolutely none of my pretzel base showing at all. We have a nice seal up against the sides for the cream cheese. You want to even it out as much as you can. All right, so that that's what your layer is going to look like. You want to set this in the fridge for 30 minutes because you want the Cool Whip and the cream cheese to harden up so we can pour the jello on top. Okay, so I have my jello here i also boiled some water for your final love uh layer on your raspberry salad you want to take your whole eight ounce package of jello and you want to measure out two cups of boiling water Okay, so you have two cups of boiling water here. You wanna dump it into a bowl. You wanna take your raspberry jello. And you wanna dump that into the bowl. Now, I just take a metal spatula and you wanna make sure that dissolves into your hot water. So you want to make sure that there's no powder left and that is fully dissolved into your water. Now this is a step you can complete when your raspberry salad is in the um, refrigerator cooling down from making our Cool Whip layer. And one way I tell if this is fully dissolved is I kind of splash it up on the side. You can see I'm getting some little specks of powder. There we go. All right. So I like to make sure it's fully dissolved. Now, you have a couple of different things you can do with this bowl. You can leave it out and let it cool down on its own to room temperature, 
or if you want to speed up the process, throw it into the freezer. Um, just make sure you don't freeze it, but you can throw it into the freezer to drop the temperature a little bit quicker. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right. So after your salad, so your pretzel layer and your cool whip layer has been in the fridge for 30 minutes. And after your jello liquid has cooled to room temperature, the next thing that you want to do, you have a couple of different options. Now, in your raspberry salad, if you like your raspberries whole, you can leave them whole. For this one, I'm going to chop mine up just a tad. So I'm just gonna get, doesn't have to be any type of consistency. I'm just making them so they're a little bit smaller in size. So I'm just gonna go through, chop some of these up. And if some of them still are whole, that's fine too. Okay. So I dice those up. Now the next thing that you want to do is you want to take your casserole or your salad layer and you just want to layer these on. Like I said, if some of them are still whole, that's okay. You want to try to get an even layer. So meaning there's not a lot of blank spaces. Try to la layer these and even these out. And I might just dump and use my knife, it kind of makes a mess. I use my knife to even it out. You wanna to try to get it so it's all one layer, nice layer. There we go. Okay, so once you have that done, and you have a good nice layer of raspberries, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your Jello mixture, the one that you let cool to room temperature, and you want to pour this over your Cool Whip layer. Now, some people like to wait and let the bubbles dissipate out of the jello. I don't really care. All right. So now, okay, so now what you want to do is once that layer is done, you want to place it in your fridge for four hours to set that jello. Or this is a great recipe if you have an event happening the next day to make this the night before so it can really set overnight in your fridge. Now for the purpose of this video and to save time, I made this recipe last night so you could see what the finished product looked like after the jello has set. So I'm just going to take, so this is the one I made last night. Now, as you can see, I decided to use whole raspberries for this one. And if we cut, I'm just gonna use my knife, see if I can't get a good, I'm just gonna try to get a piece out. Grab a spatula. And all right, let's see. Just so you can see what the finish product looks like. Move that out of the way. So you have your pretzel base here, your Cool Whip base, and then a nice layer of raspberries and Jello. And that's essentially what the raspberry salad is all about is the three layers and the fresh fruit because nothing is better in summer than fresh fruit. It's why this the tartness of this recipe and the fresh fruit is what makes it one of my favorite summer recipes. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today I am filming and sharing my absolute all-time Oh no, <laughs> kitty! No, kitty. No, kitty.